This is how the universe works. Michelson and Morley tried to measure how fast they were moving through space using light. They had a lamp and a half-silvered mirror which let some of the light go through and some of the light ref reflected. At the end of these two paths they had further mirrors which bounce the light back and some of that bounce back light was reflected down to a screen here where they saw an interference pattern. Now as this experiment was done on the earth and the earth is rotating one would expect to see these interference patterns change as the uh, um, uh, paths of the uh, light went in the direction of movement and uh, at right angles. However, there wasn't any change, which meant that they could only explain this by saying that space contracted in the direction of movement and that time slowed down. This is an experimental apparatus, a model of it. It's got a laser and mirrors, and there's a laser beam there and half silver mirrors. And it gave an output on the audio when you moved it about, when you altered the mirrors. So he said the sport damage is just time, but it actually had to be space because it, uh, you couldn't, you've got to have the same units in an equation like this. This is meter squared, meter squared, meter squared, meter squared. So this is the distance between two events. So if you click your fingers twice, or you start a journey or stop a journey, shall we say, then that, that's the distance s. Fourth dimension is time multiplied by the speed of light, which is space. That means that as time is going on, we are all moving at the speed of light. The universe is expanding at the speed of light, and we are not only on the edge of the universe, but we're made of it. All our particles are made of the edge of the universe. There's only one speed, and that's the speed of light. As you change direction, so the direction which you measure uh, speed changes with you. Relative velocity is somebody is something moving in a, in a different direction through four-dimensional space, time as space as you are. Here we have a picture which shows the uh, universe as a big sphere starting in the centre. This has got the fourth dimension radially, and x, y, and z are circumferential around here. So at the beginning, we have a big bang, and everything shoots off at the speed of light in all directions. Now, we can't see it on the edge of the universe except exactly where we are. The sun, for instance, is eight minutes below, but eight minutes away from us. And at the start, moving at faster speeds, we have a bigger difference. However, all we can see is things that are on this green sphere. So, when, when a star moving in a different direction to us, it is seen by us, we see the light that came from it some time ago. And we can get its distance by knowing the uh, the light from uh, various elements have particular frequencies and they are slowed down by the relative velocity. Uh, Doppler shift. Now, the point here is that if we are on the edge of the universe and made of it, 
Uh, how are we made? How are particles made? Uh, electrons, particles of negative electricity, have mass, energy, magnetic fields, frequency, and they are a magnetic dipole. And made from x-rays. So two x-rays come together and make an x make a, a positron and an electron. Uh, they orbit around the nucleus of atoms which are positive, although you can have it the other way around. Let's see how an electron is made. Did you see that? Let's just have a look again. They have to be made from the surface of the universe. That's the surface of the cup of tea here. Two x-rays hitting exactly correctly make two whirlpools on the surface, like those are the dimples on the cup of tea. You can see here the surface of the cup of tea is uh, pulled down because the tea is actually going round and round very, very fast there. When one goes clockwise, the other goes anti-clockwise. So that's what the universe is doing. We have a surface, the center of which is uh, the centre of the electron is going round and round at the speed of light, but is connected to the surface uh, by a long tube in the centre of the dimple, the centre of the, of the, wet, of the uh, 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 electron has uh, 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 um, is, uh, the, so the electron is a whirlpool. All the electrons were made during the Big Bang, and so everything that you see around you is covered with electrons, and they're all made during the Big Bang. Mm. This is the Z direction, and A is the, is the radius of the black hole in the center of the electron. This is the real part of it, and uh, um, most of it uh, it doesn't affect it. We've got a, 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 a surface that changes at the square root, the ratio of the radius to the square root. But this bit in the middle accounts for the for the dimple here. We've got log, and we've got a, 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 a radius divided by a, a distance away divided by the radius of the black hole, uh, and plus or minus one. So this is uh, this is a surface which is going round and round about the, about the back hole. Now this tube must be forever being filled by the space from the surrounding surface. So space falls into mass with accelerating speed as it approaches the centre. If you take the equations for the force between two masses um, and uh, 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 which is uh, um, mass 1 times mass 2 times the gravity constant divided by the square of their radius, radial distance and uh, um, the, uh, uh, equate that to a centripetal force you can uh, show that uh, the uh, you can show that actually there is an area uh, um, which is forever falling. An area appears as a circle on this, which is forever falling in, into the. Uh, uh, into the center, and uh, as it gets closer to the center, it falls faster. And this is acceleration of gravity. The space is falling into into mass, and that's the explanation of gravity. Which is caused by the surface of the universe, which is rotating about each electron, having to rotate about two centers when the electrons are close to each other. 
here we have a little blue dot and here's another one and as the surface is going round and round in an anti-clockwise way here and going anti-clockwise there in between it's, uh, it's, it goes straight now as the surface is curved round here so it pulls the centre out so pulling the, the surface around moves the centres away so like charges repel each other if we have opposite charges, a red dot here and a blue dot here, then the, the, then the surface is pulled from the inside, from between the two, away, which which uh, um, pulls the centres, uh, the two centres closer together. So uh, the, the, the rotation of the of the surface of the universe around two centres accounts for the electric forces which we associate with charge. Axis uh, 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 tilts the axis of rotation which is normally at, at, when it's stationary at right angles to the uh, surface of the universe. It tilts it into the three-dimensional plane that we can see. So Magnetic fields are electric fields caused by the um, uh, electron moving through space rather than moving through time. If it's moving relative to us, then it's, it's moving uh, um, uh, through space relative to us. This uh, also accounts for the uh, um, frequency which an electron has as we see the surface is rotating around the electron from the x-ray it has a definite frequency so the electron has a definite frequency as the surface of the universe rotates around the whirlpool the tilted ro rotations react against each other uh, like stationary charges so that two uh, uh, electrons in relative mo motion behave as they both have magnetic fields and the magnetic fields appear to react against each other. Electric currents in a wire have moving electrons and stationary protons so the electric fields cancel out leaving the magnetic forces. So you, you see magnetic forces around a wire carrying a current but you don't see very big electric forces not much voltage across the wire.